My name is George Kidd. I'm a member of the Lower Shankill Community Association Committee. Through the committee, we started a human rights programme. We brought in experts to learn about our social and economic human rights. The different experts are brought in from the likes of the Quality Commission. Once we started getting into this programme, we realised how powerful the human rights issue is. I work for the Participation and Practice of Rights project. I'm a development worker with the project and we're based mainly in North Belfast. Um, last year um, I was invited to a local um, Lower Shankill network meeting and I outlined at that meeting what the Participation and Practice of Rights project actually does. As a result of that meeting, um, Bram Watson got in contact with me. Bram Watson works for the Lower Shankill Community Association and asked me would I like to help out in an application to the Community Foundation for Northern Ireland for some of their Bill of Rights funding. I guess the organisation, the Lower Shankill organisation, wasn't very much aware of what human rights were and we were more than happy to help out with the application. As a result of the successful application they made, um, we were able to start a development programme with a group of residents. The first few classes were really to identify what were the main issues affecting them as individuals or as a community um, in the Lower Shankill. And there were quite, a, as you could imagine, quite a few issues came up because it is one of the most deprived communities in Northern Ireland. The Shankill estate is going to be redeveloped shortly and there's plans coming out for that and people had a whole host of concerns. For example, um, when the redevelopment was actually going to take place and the, the houses would be demolished and new ones built and people were concerned that they weren't going to get back in beside the same neighbours that they had before. When we started the course we really knew nothing whatsoever about human rights. I had never really thought about the human rights issues because I knew nothing about it. If they were playing back, I wouldn't pay for the operation. And yet she was mm -hmm. planning? We've learned that everybody's entitled to adequate housing, health care, everybody's entitled to be able to work. We um, asked the group, you know, did they think, more or less, did they think human rights had any relevance to their local issues? And they didn't. They, they had no idea. It was probably something used by lawyers or academics or something like that. There's something very much removed from their ordinary everyday life. So once they actually physically, you know, had the, some of the international human rights law in front of them and could see, for example, um, around mental health, um, there was rights around the right to health and the right to access services, mental health services, things like that there, it started to make um, human rights a lot more relevant. I think what also was helpful was I was able to use experience I've already had with families who've been bereaved to, through suicide and also with my colleagues work on housing. So we were able to show, for example, DVDs and relate experience about the progress of groups work and using human rights to challenge social and economic issues in, in areas. As part of the, the development programme, the group wanted to find out whether the issues they had raised within the class were the same issues that the rest of the community felt were important or a priority as well. And part of that process was to interview um, other local residents. And we did this in local community centres and had a very, very good turnout. My name's Bertie Atkinson. I've lived in the Shango for the past five years. It's handy to the town and to the community itself. It's a great community to be with. Well, one of the things that needs to be done is social housing. There's social housing in this area is run down, badly run down. We also need something for, with regards to the mental health issues, as I have a, a son, like plenty of people in the area, who suffers with mental depression, and these issues aren't being dealt with within the community. There would really be two main problems, and it would be the housing and um, work for, you know, a lot of the young ones, because there doesn't seem to be much about now for the young ones coming, you know, up and, you know, out of school. There's nothing really there for them. I love living in this area because I was born here and I just love where I live. Well, I would like to see 
houses and bungalows being built for old people, which there isn't enough of bungalows in the estate for them. And I would like a play area for the children, because there is nothing really for the children in the estate. Well, I would like to see the young people, young lads having somewhere to go, a place for to train them that used to be years ago, they trained them with jobs and they were off the streets saying. And for health problems, yes, I think they could do more for mental health. I do like living in the area, it serves a big sense of community. It's just certain things need to, issues need to be resolved in here. Regeneration would be the main thing for make the area better for not just my family but for other families. I'd like to see um, houses for the people. I'd like to see bungalows for pensioners. I'd like to see a few shops and something to take the young ones off the streets to help the young ones. The health ways um, down this area at the moment uh, between drugs and drink and uh, su suicides. I'd like to see something coming up because the children are told you have to go to Shaftesbury Square, but if they're drunk, they won't take them in. And the children need to be aware of what's going on. They need somewhere to go for help at that moment in time, not to fill in forms, not to be told to come back in a week or two, but there and then help for the children of this area. Down this lower part of the Shangle, there are no shops. You know, you have to go above Agnes Street to get decent shops. There is very, very little down the lower Shankill area. I think there's very little in the lines of jobs in this area for young people. I would like to see more education in this place because the children, God love them, they're just running about 